Bad gamble by Julius Randle. Just skip back here, ready to guard, ready to slide your feet against Giannis. Instead, look at Julius Randle coming up here to gamble. So now you're leaning this way as Giannis is about to get it and go downhill. Now you can't slide your feet, and he's gone. Okay, now Julius Randle's got to get up and force Giannis into this help right here. Josh Hart is sprinting back, which is what he needs to do. Okay, stop. First of all, he shouldn't be going towards the ball. Just make sure you're in the gaps. But Julius Randle has to get up and force Giannis to where he has help, which is going to be right here with Josh Hart and Quentin Grimes is over here and help. But you're playing off. You're letting him go away. You're not forcing him anywhere. You're Quentin Grimes, stop gambling against Damian Lillard. Okay, you're playing him on an angle, which is good. Now, Jalen Brunson's got to get further over here in the gaps, but let's force him into help right here. Okay, or we can force him into help right here where Josh Hart's coming over here in the gaps. But Quentin Grimes, look at Quentin Grimes gamble like this as opposed to just forcing him into help. So now he's going away. If Isaiah Hartenstein is coming up to trap, which I guess is what he's doing right here, Jalen Brunson's got to step up and backside help here. Okay, like you can't, there's no bet. You come up and trap or whatever the Knicks are doing. There's no backside help. I mean, how easy was that? Communicate and transition. So if Miles McBride is going to take Bobby Portis, you got to say something. So Quigley knows to come up here. We cannot have two people guarding Bobby Portis, obviously. So now in transition, it's swing, swing to Crowder. Cannot play off Damian Lillard in transition here. I got to get up. I can force him into help right here. Okay, there's help right there. Or if you're trying to feel out the screen, fine. We're just going to switch it anyways. But you can't play off. There's so many. First of all, this is drop coverage. Julius Randle's first responsibility is the ball. You can't let Damian Lillard turn the corner like this. But what is Mitchell Robinson doing? Why are you over here? Josh Hart's in the gaps right here. Why are you not in the corner? What? Cannot switch and then switch back. This is a fine switch. Mitchell Robinson can take Giannis. You have help in the gaps here, help in the gaps here. But instead, the Knicks, what are you doing? What? Julius Randle is coming to double Giannis. you got to close off this area here. The, the, you're going to leaving Damian Lillard on the weak side wing. So if this skip pass gets made, now Jalen Brunson rotates here, Mitchell Robinson here, Julius Randle here. But Julius Randle lets Giannis come to the middle of the floor. So, pfft. He has access to the weak side of the floor where there's numbers. The Knicks are running drop coverage. If Quentin Grimes wants any hope of being able to be in the gaps, he's going to have to have his feet set, okay, so that he can rotate the second the dribble gets picked up. Quentin Grimes, look at his feet. There, He's moving towards the ball right now as this pass is getting made out. No chance. No chance. The issue when you don't switch a pick and pop. Mitchell Robinson can easily take Malik Beasley. Now, Quentin Grimes needs to get down here in the gaps, and Josh Hart's going to take Brooke Lopez. So look at all the openings you have. Uh, Mitchell Robinson ends up falling, but look at all the openings you have. Brooke Lopez is wide open on the pick and pop, and Julius Randle had to step over here and backside help, so Giannis is open. It's just like, who wants to have an open three tonight? Jalen Brunson does not need to hedge this. There is no screen being set. This Quentin Grimes can easily get over the top of the screen, okay? I could switch this, too, because it's guard to guard, but you're hedging for no reason. So now look. So now Josh Hart's got to come over here and backside help. That's going to leave this skip pass to Jay Crowder wide open. One more to Bochamp. First of all, if Jalen Brunson wants to go under this screen, he cannot make contact with the screener. you got to fully commit to going under so you can get on the other side at the same time. So you're getting under about an hour late. So Hartenstein's got to step over here and help. So that's going to allow Bobby Portis to get way too deep in the post here. So now you got to double quickly. Stop. As soon as this ball gets put on the ground right here, DiVincenzo's got to stay with Connaughton. Brunson comes to help here, okay? And then you're just going to rotate, 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 okay? But there is no double, and this is atrocious. What is Hartenstein doing? You're standing in the middle of nowhere, all right? If you want to come double, double and close off this area right here. If Bochamp rotates to the middle of the floor, Brunson's going to have to step up here. And if a skip pass is made, this is where you rotate. But you're not doubling. You're just standing. What? Can't miss this gap assignment if you're Quigley. Where is Quigley going? You got to be up here, okay, with your feet set. So when Chris Middleton comes this way, I can stunt and he'll be able to recover. But look at Quigley. You're going away for, you're supposed to be over here in this gap. So now Hartenstein's got to come help and 
Knicks have a real issue with what what is Hartenstein? If Hartenstein's coming to double, it's got to be now, and DiVincenzo's got to force him here, and Julius Randle stays home. Jalen Bronson comes down here, and you leave Brooke Lopez in the weak side corner, and if a swing pass gets made, you're going to rotate, you're going to rotate, and you're going to rotate. But I mean, Hartenstein never comes to double. DiVincenzo doesn't force him there, so now you're tripling uh, Middleton. <laughs> No reason to be playing this far off of Giannis. Hartenstein needs to get up. You don't want to give him a runway to get downhill. Number one, stop, up. And then we have gap help right here with Jalen Brunson and right here with Julius Randle. Why? <laughs> Where is Mitchell Robinson going? Get First of all, you're up the line because Brooke Lopez is right here. And then we're staying in this gap. There's no place for Lillard to go. Why does Mitchell Robinson go towards the three-point line? Get up here. No place to go. But you missed this gap. You should be over here. You missed the gap assignment. Lillard's in the lane, too. Okay, well, first of all, you never guard like this ever. Your back needs to be to the baseline, so you're seeing ball and seeing man. That's why Damian Lillard's going to cook you back door here and why there's so much separation here. Stop. But Giannis is about to screen Quentin Grimes. This has to be a switch anyways. Julius Randle needs to come up and switch, and Quentin Grimes is going to have to take Giannis, and you're going to get low, and you're going to battle and do all of those things. You don't switch. So, I mean, okay, we'll give up an open three then. Okay, what is happening in transition here? Why are three Knicks players standing around guarding no one? First of all, everyone's got to get back to the three-point line. So we're in the gaps. And someone's got to be taking Brook Lopez. So that just blatantly doesn't happen. I don't know what's going on there. And then how about we again get to the three-point line? Let's see ball. Let's see man. Let's see ball. Let's see man. Not let's just see ball. 